What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks. How you doing? Give you another uh, podcast here because life is running, coming at me a million miles a second, and um. I'm barely keeping up. Stuff used to go slow, be in slow motion. Now I'm getting a lot of offers and a lot of this, a lot of that. So I got to keep up. And I still got to keep up with you guys. So today I'm going to talk about these black power, these fake black power, fake black liberators who are always worried about McWhitey. Now, anytime a group of black people want to do something, you have, you have people, and get this. They call themselves black power, black liberator, black enhancers of the community, black whatevers. But dig this. They're always worried about McQuitey. They're always telling you, especially if you're uh, like, they're, like, don't tell a bunch of black folks, oh, McQuitey won't let you do this. McQuitey won't let you do that. And these are these are supposedly pro blacks, and these what they call themselves black liberators. I don't know if they're, they they can't even liberate themselves in their grandmother's basement, but yet they're liberating a whole group of people. But I digress. They always they'll say like you get a group of blacks trying to do something that's positive for the community. Here comes these pro blacks with the daishikis and their fists waving in the air. Why do you want to let you do this? Join us. And I'm just thinking to myself. Okay, if McWhitey won't let me do this, and you're not doing anything to help the situation, why am I joining you? See, these pro-blacks and these black liberators, whatever they would call themselves, they're about as worse as the KKK and other groups. Matter of fact, they're to the point now they don't really matter anymore, all these groups. That's how, that's how it, they're, they're like non-factors, if you will. Because all they do, they get up there, they huff and puff, and they're like they're like the they're like the wolf with having an asthma attack blowing the house down. You know, it's like you you're talking loud, but at the end of the proverbial day, you're not really saying anything. Well, this is this is what they do. Anytime anytime a group of black people try to get something started, well, Mc, why do you let you do this? Mc, why do you let you do that? I'm like here they come again. Well, but then you ask them, well, what are you doing? I mean, they, 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 they gave up on the idea of moving to Africa because a lot of us called them out on it. Because they said they talk about separation, and they ain't separating from the United States. If you, if you look, that's the biggest, biggest joke that they pull on you. They talk about they want to separate. Look, if they're, in their, if they're in their 30s and they haven't found some farm in the middle of nowhere yet, they're not trying to separate. They're lying to you. They're scam artists. So let me tell you something. If you really want to separate from somebody, you would have done it by now. You'd have worked your tail off. Even if you have to work for McWhitey, you'd have worked your tail off and saved up some scratch and done it by now. But a lot of them want they, what they do. A lot of them want you to fund their little projects. And they get this. You, they want you to fund their projects. And then when you look at them, they're fuck-ups. I'm like, I'm supposed to fund your project against McWhitey when you can't even fucking add 2 plus 10. And I'm like, get out of here, pals. You guys are a joke. Want well, to come over here and like, well, McWhitey won't let you do that. You have to ask the white man for his approval. It's like, no, let's see, here's, here's the problem I have with a lot of these so-called black liberators. And bro, what are they, pro-blacks? Whatever, whatever you guys want to call yourselves. Well, I'll, I'll generalize you. A lot of you guys that don't do nothing and talk loud, I'll, uh, that's what we'll call you. They just, they, they just, if you look at them, you look at their background, and I told you this before, and everybody's like, well, he's right. If you look at their background, nine out of ten of them are fucked up. Nine out of ten of them have, have questionable backgrounds. Nine out of ten of them probably have been scamming you before. You just caught on to it. But the fact remains is, Pro-blacks, black liberators, 
and whatever you want to call yourselves, they're they're so worried about McWhitey, they're not worried about you. It, like if, if, some, if some black is starting, to, if there's a black person starting a business, I want to give them a handshake and say good job. I hope they're successful. That's what I would do. But then you have these black liberators and or these black nothings that want to say, well, you're only getting allowed to do it because white man's letting you do it. But like, what are you doing? If they're opening the business and making love, the white man's letting them earn enough money where they can live comfortably, why can't you do it? And then they give you all these excuses, well, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, what the, it's like, well, if you didn't throw your life away, that's your fault. If you choose to throw your life away, how can I, how can I be at blame because you can't do certain things in life? Like, if you want to throw your life away, then go ahead. That's your business. But don't come back and say, you know, and blame somebody else because you decide to mess your life up. Because at the end of the day, it's not only black folks that are hurting in this country. It's white folks, Hispanics, Asians. Everybody's losing fucking jobs there. Uh, if you haven't, haven't paid attention to the, to the society here. It just so happens there's more white people than there are blacks. Now there's more Hispanics. Thinks you guys ain't doing shit. There's more Hispanics than blacks. Pretty soon there'll be more Asians than blacks. You guys aren't talking about that. You guys talk about stuff that nobody will, nobody will achieve anything at. You guys huff and puff. But you're asthmatic wolves. That's all you are. If you guys want to be wolves? You're asthmatic wolves. When it comes down to it, when it when it comes down time for the hunt, you're the wolf that takes like ten steps and you're out of breath. You're you're the wolf that has to ask his homeboy if he can eat. Cause at the end of the day, you asthmatic wolves, you lazy no 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 good boot shuffling, boot lickers. And like I said, if you're 30 years old and you're talking about separation, you definitely have fucked your life up because you should have been separated by now and you should have been and you could have been. So, now, no, so don't give us no excuses. This the Separation is one of the biggest frauds and scams because at the end of the day, why are you still here? And, and, and give us your best excuse. But like I said, if you're 30 years old and up, you're not going to scam artists and you're pretty lame for using that one. So, I gotta go because I got stuff to do, and if you really wanted to separate, you would have separated by now. But guess what? You don't really want to separate because you know how good you have it. Bootlickers. I'm out of here. Peace.